So it's getting bad, guys. All right, it's getting bad. People cannot pay their bills. We are moving towards 2008 all over again, all over again. Why are we committing these same mistakes? Why are we doing this? All right, it's getting bad. People I know personally, all right, someone very close that I know and my family, they are struggling. They can't even keep the lights on, all right? They came home the other day, the lights were off and they had to pay like $1,200, something crazy to get their lights back on, all right? This is real stuff. This is what people are going through. People are struggling right now. People are... People are using every last dollar in the bank right now just to just to pay the electric bill, man. Just to have the power on. This cannot go on much longer. Rents are skyrocketing. All right, we are going to see a mass population of people that cannot afford housing. I was, I was seeing a comment. Somebody said they're around my age. They have two young kids just like I do. This hit home. This is so sad. This is so messed up. They're saying their rent is already $1,800. And now they're talking about raising it anywhere between $2,500 and $2,800 when they renew their lease just next month. So what are what are people like that supposed to do? How are you supposed to come up with an extra $700, $1,000 in a month? This is insane. That's a whole nother payment on something. Whole nother car payment. Whole nother rental on a little tiny apartment or something somewhere. Like, that's insane. What are people supposed to do? People are getting squeezed out. Biden's economic advisors say that, oh, the famine isn't here yet. It's just in other countries. The famine's just in other countries. Don't worry. It's not in America yet. Don't worry. We don't need to be... Don't, don't even worry about it. Everything's fine. It's like we're pouring gasoline on a freaking dirty water trash dumpster that smells terrible. Sorry to get graphic if you've ever smelled water trash. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so a dirty water trash dumpster that's on fire and we're just pouring more gasoline on top of the water trash and just burning it. It's just like, come on, man. What are you talking about? He's saying, oh, other countries are in famine, but it's not a famine here. Don't worry, folks. When is it going to happen here? How much longer do we really have? Let me know down below. What do you think? How much longer do we really have? Because, like, I'm, I feel like next year is when it's really going to hit, is when it's going to go mainstream. So right now, there's been a huge explosion in the prepper community of people coming in. Okay, all these new people are rushing in. All these new people are waking up and realizing what's happening. And if you are, thank you. You are awesome. You are you are amazing. You're seeing what's happening. All these new incredible people are rushing in and seeing what's happening. All right. But it's still not mainstream yet. We are still in the minority, only like 15, maybe 20% now pushing in that range of people that really know what's happening. Next year, it's going to hit 50%. It's going to be mainstream. It's going to be 75% of people are really struggling. Really, it's going to hit the fan for them. Check out this number. Over 90 million families. All right, families. This doesn't even say 90 million people. All right, so there's like 350 million people in the United States. 90 million families. That's at least two or three people. So is that, is that pretty much everyone? I think that's everyone. I think, I think 90 million families covers everyone. It says are struggling, are not able to pay bills, are, are stretching their dollars right now, are second guessing what they should do. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about just moving back in my RV to save money for a little bit. Seriously, this is the point we're getting to. We did that for a year and a half we loved it and we've been living in houses now you know been living in a house for a year but we're thinking about just going back in our rv to save money because it's like this is insane this is this is crazy who can afford this kind of market we're kind of waiting for the housing market to go down so then maybe we could buy a house in but then at the same time interest rates are going up so it's like it's you can't win 
You're getting you're getting bent over everywhere you look. All right. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to make the joke there, but uh, it's true. We're getting bent over everywhere we look, everywhere we turn by something else. It's saying in Dallas alone, 40, almost 46 percent of people up from 28 percent of people just last year are struggling to pay their bills see i'm telling you guys this is real this is real for people if, if you're struggling i i feel you all right i've been there i've literally had zero dollars in my bank account many many times i've been i've been negative many times all right i've i've been there all right i don't want to get into all of it i've been there plenty of times all right, I've been there with kids. I've been there married. I've been there with everything. All right, so don't worry. I know how it is. Life can turn around though too. All right, you have to stay strong. You have to keep fighting. You can't just give up because all this BS is attacking us right now. All right, look in the look in the ways you can make money online. There's so many different ways, and it's it doesn't take as much time. You're not trading time the same way you are as a normal job if you can do it online so you can do something late at night and then you can it can make money for you while you're at your other job you know what i'm saying so figure out something like that get a shopify store sell some something i used to sell seeds all right i used to have a little seed store for shopify where i would sell seeds to make some extra money there's so many different things you can do so many ideas what do you like to do what do you want to look into that try to start a little side hustle because we we can't give up these people are going to squeeze us and squeeze us until we're just out of our homes till we can't afford gas till we can't drive our car till we can't heat our homes this is an agenda they know what they're doing they are they're trying to do this on purpose just a coincidence all these things are happening at the same time we're just like so numb to it at this point because it's like every day it's something new it's something new and crazy it's we've reached the acceleration point we've reached the quickening where the information is being revealed every day they're revealing it to us what's going to happen every single day all right i mean think about the word revelation all right reveal a revealing that's what revelation means is a revealing of knowledge all right and we're being we're having the curtain pulled back this information was never available to people even even 20 years ago before the internet was really around this information was not available to people and now it's so abundant and so in our face that people have become numb to it people check out people don't want to deal with it anymore it's like information overload, normalcy bias. They're just like, I just want to live life. I don't want to even think about this or deal with it. And I totally get that. I feel like that sometimes too. You have to live life. You have to keep going. You have to stay strong. You can't give up and just go lay down and cry about it. No, 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 sorry. I will never give up. All right, I will never stop, ever. I don't care. Like I said, I've had negative. You can't take anything away from me. I've I've had it all taken away. All right. I've lived in a I've lived in my trailer because I had to live in my trailer for a while, and I had no money, and I was broke, and I was literally living in free spots. All right. So I, I know you can't take anything away from me. I could just I'll just do that again. That's fine. That's like a part of me. You know, so stay strong, stay hard, stay abundant, all right? I'll have an abundant mindset. All this, we need to turn it around. All this crap's going downhill. We need to turn it around. We can be the ones, we can be the 10% of people that make a change. It, it only takes a small percentage of people within a population to really cause change, all right? We could literally change the economy. We could change politics. We could change YouTube, social media. We could change all this stuff. All right? We are already doing it. This community is incredible. The people in here are incredible. All right? We're already doing it. So you want to be a part of this community, make sure you hit up all the good stuff down there so you don't miss a thing. 
Thank you so much for watching me. You're a blessing. Life's a blessing. We're gonna win. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna fight. We got it. I got some sweat on my pit. Yeah! <laughs> you have a good one, guys. Thank you.